Hello, I'm Ronnie with Plan to Eat, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to use Plan to Eat on both the website and the app. Before I do that, I want to explain to you a little bit what meal planning is and why you might want to meal plan. So meal planning is basically planning ahead your meals for any number of days. You can plan ahead for three days, one week, two weeks, a month. The amount of time that you plan ahead is completely up to you and your family's needs. But essentially you plan your meals ahead of time, you get a shopping list, and then you shop for all of the items you need for those recipes. And so you only have to go to the grocery store once for all of those things. Then you have a plan for your food and you're not wondering what's for dinner every night at five o'clock. So that's essentially one of the main reasons why you would want a meal plan is so that you are not wondering every single night what's going to be for dinner. That creates a lot of decision fatigue and mental stress when you're trying to figure out what you have in your house to eat, um, as well as what your family might be interested in eating. So if you already have it planned ahead of time, you are then just able to execute your plan, get dinner on the table really easily, and don't have to worry about it quite so much. But meal planning also will help you save money. So just the simple fact of going to the grocery store with a list of ingredients that you need to buy will help you save money because then you're not buying items at random in the grocery store. You're actually going to the grocery store with a plan. So the things that you buy have a purpose. Um, a few years ago, we did a survey of our customers and they said that they had a 23% decrease in grocery costs just by creating a meal plan. Nothing special about their meal plans, just the fact that they planned ahead and then they had a shopping list to shop from. So pretty impressive on the savings front. But meal planning can also help you eat healthier foods. So rather than going through the drive through because you just don't have time to make dinner or you don't have time to think about dinner um, or ordering takeout, um, instead you are making food at home. And whether it's a quick 15 minute meal or a meal that takes you an hour and a half to make, it's still ingredients that you were able to decide on and choose. So ultimately, you're probably going to be eating healthier if you are creating those meals at home. And finally, one of our favorite reasons to meal plan is that you actually get to spend more time with your family. So when you create a meal, it's much easier to sit down at the dinner table with your family and spend a little bit of time with them at the end of the day or you know, for Sunday breakfast or something. One of our values at Plan to Eat is to enable people to connect with the people around them in their community, whether it's their family or friends. And we really feel that food is a great option for that. Um, it's a great source of connection and having a plan for what you're going to eat with your people uh, just enables that to happen much faster. So let's dive in to plan to eat. I'm gonna show you how you will import recipes to your account, how you can add them to your meal planner, and then how you're gonna create a shopping list for those items. So when you start your plan to eat account, it comes with zero recipes in it. And this is intentional because we want your recipe book to be a clean slate for you so that you can import the recipes that work for you and your family's needs, whether that is budgetary constraints, food allergies, um, certain specific diet types that you're trying to adhere to, um, or just that you have family favorite recipes that you want to be able to plan and eat on a regular basis. So you don't start with any recipes, but it's really simple to add recipes to your account. So once you're here, the easiest way to import recipes to your account is this uh, clip recipes from the web option. So in your account, you can just tap on that. It's gonna take you to this page that will show you how to add our recipe clipper to your browser. So once you have your browser to toolbar enabled, you can then just take this button right here, this add to PTE and just drag and drop it up here. And now you'll see I have a bookmark that I can click when I go to a recipe site. So we're gonna go over to this recipe from Sip Insanity, turkey wrap with cranberry and goat cheese. And all I have to do is click on this. It's going to import the recipe over here. And when it imports this, this is just a draft of the recipe. So you can scroll through here, you can see all of the recipe information. You can update any of this information right now if you want to. Um, and when you want to add it to your account, just hit save recipe there. And now this recipe lives in your plan to eat account. So when I go back to plan to eat, I can refresh the page 
and we have a recipe. So once you have the recipe clipper added to your bookmarks bar, it is super simple to go and add recipes in. We also have other options. So you can see that you can add in recipes by hand. You can also import a file of recipes. Um, and then we have a few recipes in Plan to Eat that were from previous cooking challenges that we hosted. So you can also go there and maybe find some recipes to save to your account. So now that we have a recipe here, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to add this to the meal planner. So over here on the plan tab, you can see that we have an, a wide open calendar to be able to plan recipes here. And on the website, all you do is take this recipe over here. We have this little handle icon and you can just drag it right onto your meal planner. So it's really simple to just be able to drag and drop your, meal, your recipes to create a meal plan. And like I said, you can create it for as many days as you want. You can also add multiple recipes into one mealtime. So certainly I wouldn't add the same recipe to one mealtime, but just to show you, I can stack multiple recipes into a single mealtime. So if you wanna add you know, extra sides or snacks or whatever, you can add those in those mealtimes here as well. And then to create the shopping list, we're just gonna go over here to the shop tab. And right here on the left-hand side, you have your planner date range. So currently it's set to this week, which would include that day that I planned the recipe on. You can also update this to be today, the next two weeks, you can do a custom date range if you maybe only wanna shop for four days or something like that. Um, so I'm just gonna go to today, cause that was the day that I added. Uh, the recipe too. And you can see that all of those ingredients are here on the shopping list. Um, some of these have ended up here in a no category section. Um, sometimes that'll happen if the title of the ingredient is maybe a little unfamiliar to the program, but you can go into this pencil icon right here and edit this um, so that it will automatically update and then that will end up in the produce section. All right, so that's the basics of adding a recipe, putting it on your planner, and creating a shopping list in Plan to Eat. There are lots of other features in Plan to Eat, but this is the very simple overview. So let's hop on over to the Plan to Eat app, and I will show you how all of these things happen over there as well. All right, so here we are on the Plan to Eat app. You can see that that turkey wrap recipe that I imported on the website is also showing up here on the app. So as long as you have data or Wi-Fi service on your phone, any changes that you make on the website will sync to your app and vice versa. So once again, the easiest way to add recipes to your account is gonna be with our recipe clipper. And on the app that is called the share extension clipper because it lives within the share icons in your browser. So if I go over to a recipe, I wanna import this, cram this uh, cranberry crumble pancakes recipe. And I'm gonna tap on the share extension icon, which is down there in the center of that bar at the bottom. It's a square with a little arrow exiting it. If I tap on that, I can then use plan to eat in my options there. Now a draft of that recipe is here. I can go through and double check all of this information, update any of this if I want to. Like this course, um, these pancakes are probably not a salad. They're probably more like breakfast. So then I can save that those changes saved as well with my recipe. Now you can see I have two recipes in my account. So to add this recipe to my planner from the app, I'm just gonna go over to the plan tab. And then you can see that each date on the planner has a little plus sign over on the right side. So I can tap that plus sign. It gives me options to plan recipe ingredients or notes. I'm gonna plan a recipe. I'm gonna tap on those pancakes, hit the next icon. And then I'm gonna put that as breakfast and press add. Okay, so now I have multiple recipes on my meal planner. So now I can go to my shopping list and see what extra things were added to my shopping list over here. So the shop tab was still set to only Monday the 12th. I'm gonna update that to say this week and you can see on the app, it gives you a visual of which days you're actually looking at. Press save there. And now you can see more things have been added here to my list. And when you are ready to go to the grocery store, you can simply take your app with you. And as you're in the grocery store, you can just cross items off your list. And you'll see that you get a little notification at the bottom for purchased items. You can also update these settings in the app. So in the upper right corner, there's a three dot menu and you can have it show purchased items, which we currently have set on. You can also have it consolidate purchased items. Consolidating purchased items it makes those crossed off items live at the very bottom of your shopping list. 
So let me show you what that looks like really quick. So the ones that I tapped off are now living here at the bottom. This is a really great thing if you wanna double check your shopping list at the end of your trip to make sure that you got everything. Um, you can check it here at the bottom. If you prefer your crossed off items to live right within the list, you can toggle off that consolidate purchased items option. And now when I go back to my list and I tap things off, they're just gonna stay right in line with everything else on the list. All right, so that's the basics of the Planty website and the app. Uh, how to add a recipe, how to put it on your planner, and then how to create a shopping list. Like I said, you can create a meal plan for any amount of time that works for you. And if you have questions about Plant to Eat, you can contact us at help at planteat.com. We'll be happy to answer any questions for you and help you get started with your account. Thanks for watching.